Hey guys, it's Jen and welcome to my channel, Jen's Future Home. If you're new, my name is Jen and I really love if you would hit that subscribe button and stick around. Uh, we do a lot of homes, cleaning, organization, Disney videos, so if you're into that, I hope you enjoy. Today I am doing some of my September favorites. Um, it's now October. Some people are doing Vlogtober. I haven't really decided yet, but it's basically everything I've been using um, through September on a day-to-day -day basis, so here we go. The first item are the Sargento Balance Breaks. They're usually like a cheese, dried fruit, and nut mix. And I've really been liking these just kind of as an on-the-go snack, as um, something to eat with lunch, or just something for breakfast. Kind of really simple. I can just grab it and go. It's super handy for those stressful mornings. I know all you moms out there have them, but basically these have been my go-to. Next is this Yogi Green Tea Blueberry Slim Life. Um, it's a tea that I really like to drink in the morning. Um, right now, it is... It basically energizes and supports a dieting program, but I really just use it for the flavor. Um, I really like blueberry tea. I like fruit tea. Um, and so I just thought it would be something to try, and um, I like something with energy, but I'm not a straight green tea drinker, so I wanted something with a little bit of flavor, and the blueberries sounded good. So I've been using this every day in replace of coffee. I've been trying to kind of steer away from it, trying to go to more of a tea drinker in the morning. I like both. I just, I'm trying to be, um, I'm trying to use less creamer, less sugar, all that stuff. I can drink that straight. So next is, I just actually got this shirt, if you can see it. It's got these cute little buttons, um, all along the uh, front of it. Um, as you can see, it's all on the front. As you can see, it's got like an adorable polka dot mustard color to it. Um, I really love it. Uh, I actually have to wear collared shirts to work, so it's something I can wear to work and kind of be a little bit more professional in, but also casual. I love that the versatility of it. I also got the top at TJ Maxx for, I believe, $15, so that was a steal too. I mean, you can't beat the prices at TJ Maxx. If you see my Instagram, you know I'm a TJ Maxx addict, so it's not surprising I got anything there. My next item are these shoes, which a lot of East Coasters will recognize them, but these are Jack Rogers, and these were made famous by Jackie Kennedy um, back in the 1960s, and these are by far my favorite shoes ever made in the world. I love them. Um, I just recently got these. Uh, it's like a neutral color like a nude color and then a white um band thinking of wearing them on my wedding day so i basically knew these were being sold at von mar which is a store in indiana like um, nordstrom basically the same thing um we have both but they were on sale for 30 dollars which if you know anything about these shoes, they run more close to 150. So the fact that I got them basically that much off is amazing in of itself. Like I was shocked and I said, even if they don't fit, even if I have to squeeze my toes in there, like the stepsisters trying to fit their feet into Cinderella's glass slipper, I will do it. I will buy these shoes regardless if they fit or not. I'm buying them. I was like, my toes, my can hang off the front, my heel can hang off the back. I don't care. I'm buying these shoes. But they fit. They were my size. Um, great summer, fine, but also kind of a little more dressed up and can go a little bit casual too. The next thing I got with this pouch with my name on it. So I was actually recently asked to be in a wedding, um, and they did an adorable little like combo inside which had these hair ties and they say I can't tie the knot without you will you be my bridesmaid and I thought that was so cute and so sweet of them to ask this way um, then they also provided some earrings um, to wear during the wedding um, so jewelry was covered there but 
I've just been kind of using this little pouch. Um, it zips closed and just kind of throwing it in my purse. Can put really anything in it um, because it's lined with some like waterproof material. So you could put makeup in it if you wanted to. Um, so I've just kind of been throwing it in my purse and putting uh, any kind of medicine in it, beauty products, whatever I feel like it. So that's been really handy. So now I'm going to go on to beauty products. And this item is by Origins and it's the Clear Improvement Mask. And this mask is an active charcoal mask to clear pores. And to be honest, I bought the trial size as you can see. It just fits in my hand just to give it a go because it's fairly expensive. Um, Origins is not a cheap brand. It's sold at Sephora um, and Ulta and all those places. And I just wanted to try it out before I made the big purchase to buy the big full size. Um, and I will say it works very, very well. Um, better than some other charcoal masks that I've used. Now I like cake it on to my face when I'm using this. So I probably use more than I should, but I see results. So, you know, what can you do? Um, I will say that when I do put it on, like I will see all the like excess oil and everything kind of come through the mask like it sucks it out like it really does and um i will say my face has been clearer after using it i don't use it every day but it's something a little nice treat during the week when i want to pamper myself a little bit i can put on a mask and just kind of relax and have a good time this product is the simple cleansing wipes and i have been a big fan of these wipes forever i mean i have very sensitive skin and so finding something that really works to take off makeup um that you know gets off the grime but leaves your skin not feeling like almost rubbed raw or um kind of a burning sensation i feel it's really difficult to find um i know that burt's bees makes a similar comparison but i just have been preferring the simple brand um the only thing I will say is I've actually been buying some waterproof mascara recently. Now, I don't need waterproof mascara. It's just kind of something I happened upon. I just bought it. Um, but the, the one thing I do have about those wipes is they aren't the best at getting it off. I feel like a lot of times I have to use baby oil to get the mascara off my eyelashes. But that would be my only complaint. And I would still purchase them again. Um... It's just, I don't know. I think that formula could be improved. If you have any favorite sensitive skin makeup removing wipes that do a great job with waterproof mascara, please let me know. I would love to try them out and see what I think because I'm always looking to try new products. The next thing I'm showing is this Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. As you can see, it's fairly used. Um, I actually just purchased a new one and they recently um, discontinued this item so I'm very sad but happy I got one last palette to use. Um, I really love that it comes with a mirror and compact. It's really slim as you can see. Um, fits in a hand easily. I don't have any problems taking it for travel. Uh, creates a great basic eye actually what I'm using today so um I use it basically every day I rarely use anything else it also lasts a really long time when you use the primer and a setting spray um I would use those regardless but honestly I have had no complaints with this palette uh the pigment is amazing um I'm just really sad that it got discontinued at least I bought it one last time um so I'm using a full one currently these are my lifesavers i really enjoy having the mirror in the compact um it just makes traveling so much easier uh, i tried mac for a bit and the problem with their um eyeshadows is that when you create a palette they don't come with a mirror and i didn't even think that was going to be an issue but i actually returned their eyeshadows because I really wanted the mirror that badly. It's just something I use on a day-to-day -day basis that I didn't even think about. So definitely a thumbs up for me. Um, always need the mirror. This is something I've also been using on the go are these Optic White Wisp 
Um, they're by Colgate, and basically what it is, it's a little toothbrush, um, and you can just kind of take it on the go and scrub, and it kind of just is better than a mint or a piece of gum that you're chewing, and maybe um, you don't have a way to get rid of it, and I don't like swallowing gum, so basically I can just freshen up a little bit, throw it away, be done, and feel fresh and clean without having to chew on something. So um, at my work, I am on the phone a lot, so if I'm chewing gum, like people can hear that. I don't want people to think I'm rude, so these are a great way to uh, um, kind of feel fresh but not be sitting there chomping like a cow. My last item is this Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, I actually haven't found this again in stores, but I really wasn't that impressed with it. Um, I did use it up, but it was just something I wanted to show you guys. It's kind of like a, hey, maybe not the best product to buy. Everything else in this video I really loved, but I just thought it kind of um, left my skin very dry. It's very heavy in um, benzoyl peroxide, which is an active acne medication ingredient. And I just thought like, hey, not the best for my skin. Um, I've never really used Clean and Clear. Uh, actually, one of my roommates was using it. She said that it worked really great for her, so, you know, I'm always willing to try new things. This just wasn't for me. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by and checking out some of my favorites from September. And if you have any questions about any of the products, I'll try to link them below in the description box, but please subscribe, like, comment, I hope you guys stick around. I really like creating these videos for you and thanks again for watching. See you later.